like from the National Sleep Foundation is that you want to keep your room around 60 to 67 degrees Fahrenheit and you can either do that via turning on your air conditioner or using your eight sleep. <laughs> but there are some other easier ways as well. You can take a cold hot shower before bed, right? If you take a really hot shower, it opens up and allows you to release a lot of your heat. You can do a sauna at the gym. That'll make you sweat. It'll get you really warm. And it kind of just doesn't make sense, but that increased heat can actually allow your body to cool faster. It's like when you shoot up, you got to come down crashing. And then if you actually want to invest in a device that automates this process for you and makes it pretty much seamless, that's where I would recommend the eight sleep, right? You can always exchange time that you have and find ways to do it for a cheaper. But if you want to optimize your systems and processes, you can invest money to get your time back. And that's where the eight sleep comes in. And the biggest things that I found anecdotally with my eight sleep is I fall asleep faster and I tend to have longer deep sleep using my dream Two headband. I love the alarm feature that wakes me up by warming up my mattress and then vibrating the mattress. And then the temperature regulation throughout the night starts out freezing cold for the first half of the night and then it slowly gets warmer in the middle of the night. And then when it's time to wake up, it gets extremely hot. And then I also get monitoring in terms of HRV heart rate throughout the evening. There's two versions of the H sleep that you can buy. You can either buy the pod pro cover or the actual mattress and the cover. I have just the pod pro cover back in California and then the pod pro max cover plus the mattress here in New York. We are going to unbox the eight sleep pod pro max, which is their top top highest tier mattress that they offer. Okay. So as you can see, it comes with two boxes and the things that I would purchase as it's coming, one is distilled water from your grocery store and then some hydrogen peroxide. You only really need a spoonful. I didn't have any. So this was the smallest size I could find and purchase. Other than that, let's start with the unboxing. The first thing I'll open is the actual cooling unit itself. And I do have to disclose eight sleep did send this to me for free. I did purchase my first eight sleep pod pro myself. And if you want to support the channel and you want to buy this product, I have a code down below, code Shervin and the affiliate link down below. If you buy the mattress through that link, it helps support the channel and I can continue making cool videos. Cracking open like an egg. <laughs> so one of these will be the active cover and the second one will be the actual pod that hosts the water. This feels like it's been taped five times over. The best part. There's the pod. Make sure to keep this device if you need to drain it. The power cable with a little cover on the power. It's one of those classic three prong devices. No, this has like an angled side head where it's like that. Start here, a little manual. This is the Active Pro cover. Look at that gorgeous eight sleep bag right there. Unzip. They really sealed this sucker up. Now here is the Pod Pro. One of the things I do not like about it is that it stands vertically upwards, so you can't really slide it underneath the bed. Whereas I do have a Chili Sleep. You can slide underneath the bed. It might be better, honestly, for heat for standing up, but in terms of like hiding the actual device, I like it when it's under the bed. Water container jug. The front gorgeous design. I guess in a way, if it's not, if it's underneath your bed, you can't flex this to people, but when it's next to your bed, you can be like, yo, I got eight sleep. Someone told me that the fan they use for the eight sleep pod is one of the best high quality fans out there. Then you have your regular power outlet, USB-A, and the four pipes I was telling you about on the bottom. So now we gotta get rid of the chili. Now the next thing is the actual mattress itself. And the extras I did buy that are not eight sleep related is because I'm a side sleeper. I found a three inch gel mattress topper, memory foam. This is super cheap. I can link it down below. And I'm going to put this underneath the active cover, but on top of the eight sleep mattress, just to create a more smooth experience when I'm sleeping, because as a side sleeper, this is a bit too firm for me. I think the second thing I bought is a mattress encasement. As someone with allergies, you got to protect myself from dust mites, mold, fluids, you know, and bacteria. So I bought this Amazon encasement to protect the mattress as well. Nothing like grows inside. So I needed this first before I could open that. I want to protect it on day one. I'm already sweating. <sighs> Ladies and gents, the eight sleep pod pro max, what you all been waiting for. Now let's get this bed on top of the other. If only you could move mattresses this easily. So if you are using your own mattress, I have heard of like, if you have dogs, cats who go on your bed and like scratch the bed, 
with the active cover, this piece right here, there is potential that they can cut it and it could leak. If you want to protect your mattress, highly recommend one of these, as well as like, you know, any water damage, dust, high humidity. If you're not using a memory foam cover that's going underneath the active cover, I would put the active cover on first. And then it's got these really nice zippers. You can zip the active cover and it goes all the way around and it will stay on tight, super tight, really nice. Since I want a softer mattress, I'm not going to zip it on. I want it to be a little more soft. The more you zip, right, the tighter it gets, the more firm it'll be. If your body type, your sleeping patterns need a more firm mattress, then definitely zip it. It's all customized for you. Laying it on right now in this awkward position. I would say it's got some cushion to it. It's definitely not as soft as I would like it to be as a side sleeper, but as a back sleeper, a stomach sleeper, this would be perfect. I think I'm gonna go to bed, I'm so tired. But we gotta cover this bad boy. Yeah, this is, it's got, I think, seven layers of different kinds of foam and stuff. Let's put this cover on. One thing to note when you put this cover on, it will make your mattress a little warmer as well as a little more firm. Because once again, when you zip something over, when you're trying to uh, prevent moisture from going through, it's gonna be warmer. <sighs> that was intense. This is a reusable bag, it's pretty cool. That is neat. So now with the active grid, you have the four tubes and a USB-A port here. Now, when it comes to the tubing right here, you wanna make sure there's no like sharp turns so the water can flow easily. And then if you are zipping it, zip it to the mattress so it stays on tight. And that the tubing on the top is flush. <laughs> Looks good. Next. Like for me, this fitted cover is good enough to hold it in place. This apartment is so small. I am now trapped. I cannot go outside. <laughs> it's okay because we have all the equipment we need to set up the Pod Pro. We'll plug this sucker in. Plug it in until it clicks. Make sure the USB is on the right side. So you can plug the USB in. I'm plugging it into this power strip. I really only have a couple options. Plug the power in. Okay, now that we have everything plugged in and set up, I'm going to set up a new product, Pod Mattress. There you go, it'll walk you through. Yes, mattress is set up. Active Grid is set up at the top left corner. Unwind the cord. The hub, which needs Wi-Fi. So the Wi-Fi is not as strong in this apartment as it is in my other house. <laughs> my parents' house, I should say. So let's see how it works here. It is flashing blue. There it is. Eight my Q3, boom, continue. Now it's gonna search for nearby Wi-Fi networks. So if you do have Wi-Fi issues, you can actually set up the pod near your router and then bring the pod by your bed. Right, now here it is, updating firmware as always, anytime you buy a new product. But the thing I do love about the Pod Pro is the cooling feature because I sleep freaking hot. Invite a new partner. Yes, still single. So the entire bed is me. So you have to refill the tank with Distilled water every two to three months as well as some hydrogen peroxide. So you pull the tank out. And get some distilled water. Just a tad of hydrogen peroxide. And then, bam, now it's in. <gasps> Prime now. <gasps> you hear it. You hear that sound? That's the sound of it pumping water through the mattress. You can already feel it. And then, so we'll give it 10 minutes and then I will refill it with more water and prime again. So until then, I am going to, I'm gonna clean some of this stuff up. The mattress does tend to be a little bit more firm. So you can either get the mattress and add a topper, a thin topper on top or a thick topper underneath the cover. Or you can purchase your own mattress and place their cover on your own mattress. Then there's a hub that has water and then it connects to Wi-Fi, So it can upload your sleep data as well as connect to your iPhone app or Android. And they have won some insane awards. GQ Fitness Award, Men's Health Sleep Award, Time Best Invention of the Year 2018 and 19, Fast Company Most Innovative Award 2019, and the crazy part is, is this is trending. I think 8sleep is going to be huge. And if you want to get on the trend, you should buy your 8sleep pod now. But there's so many 
top performing athletes and people discussing it. Tim Ferriss mentions it on his podcast. And we all know Tim Ferriss is like a god to some of us. Ali Spagnola has made multiple videos about it and she says she loves it. And so many people on Twitter are talking about how it's part of their health stack and how it actually helps them mind. And if you're part of crypto Twitter, you know that everyone on crypto Twitter uses the aid sleep. Luisa Nicola, a neuroscientist and neuropsychologist, also talks a lot about it. She's an advisor to pro athletes, teams, and portfolio managers, so way cooler than me. And when I see something trending, I know that it's going to be big. I want to be a part of it, and that's why I have teamed up with 8sleep. So if you do want to purchase an 8sleep down below, use code SHERVIN, and you'll get $100 off. It'll be linked down below. I think one of the biggest things I wish 8sleep had was a way to interact with a product without your iPhone. I think being in bed and having to use your phone and seeing a blue light to adjust the temperature or make any kind of adjustments can be a little frustrating, but I know they also have this autopilot feature, so it should be automated. They've raised over $86 million. They're definitely one of the biggest companies in this category i've yet to see anyone do a great job of competing with their product there are competitors out there but honestly their biggest competitor is your air conditioning unit so go ahead and use that it's just note that your ac bill might be a little bit higher and there's less automation in terms of the fluctuation of temperature but i think you should go with what best fits your needs and for me i want it to be seamless i want to invest money in something that can perform for me